Hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here. Spin around at the speed. All right, and that last time we traveled to Canada and where we got rid of some AIDS, and now we need to talk to the prince because Earl couldn't help us for shit. So, yeah, that's what's going on. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you. Shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Okay, now we have to do another thing. We have to go kill the Bishop of Banff and bring his balls for proof. That's probably what I would that's probably what I would either want or do. Like if I want somebody killed, like just speaking hypothetically, I'll be like, bring their bring me their balls as proof. <laughs> that sounds really weird, but like, no, nah, I'm just yeah, I'm just kidding, honestly. But and really I have to Whatever, I'll show off the dire snakes. I was trying to avoid fighting you, but what yeah, and like they're stuff? like regular snakes, but they're dire, and they're weak to fire, so that's really good. Or they're weak to freeze. One of the two, either yeah, I think it's the fire. And this guy. Oh no! Freaking dire aids again! I have to go cure it again. Damn it. Ugh, whatever. This guy will die pretty quickly, so. And he's so close to dying, but he doesn't. You should be dead. Yeah, the snakes aren't too bad. Just have to worry about the diorades that they spread. And that. It's really tricky to counter that for me because oh, man, it's, they try to trick you and it's like, oh my god. Can I? There you go. Now I'm going to go to Bamps and see what we got here. And Jesus lagging like crazy. What the heck is happening? I'm not sure if you guys have seen this. I think yeah, it might you, you might be, but it's lagging like crazy right now. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, now it's Praise normal. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're in the fight with the bishop, and I got What's the that? diorades, so that's great. Uh, um, let's see. What should I do? I'm going to start off with this to get some fire on him. He has a bunch of armor. And a bunch of health, so best to get those stats and victories on. He he's not that hard, so you shouldn't have to worry about too much. And I'm gonna use chaos to get something. Not necessarily shield, even though I really like the shield personally. The chaos wheel, but uh, life drain. Uh, not too bad, I guess, but. Still, we were full on health, so stop it! I'm freaking sick of the Canadian rule. greeting. Let's get some bleeding on him. Love thy neighbor. There you go. And let's just get some normal damage on him. We're just getting all these stats inflictions on him. He's gonna be so he messed up after does. this. <laughs> all right, more damage, sure. Wait, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. He can heal stats inflictions, which is what he did. So it I shall sucks, turn the other but cheek. it's what happens. Damn it. Oh, whatever. By the hammer of 
I'm sorry. Touch? No, I can't. See if I could healing touch myself, but I clearly can't. That'd be kind of cool if he just like touches himself and just like heals himself. I'd be so broken if Butters could do that. Remember the golden rule: love thy neighbor. Oh damn it, I messed up. He's almost dead, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh sure I'll do this one. Uh, good, I got rid of some of his armor shields and stuff, so make it a little bit easier to kill him, and this should do it. We did it! The bishop is down. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Uh, should I take the pig testicles? No, I'm gonna finish off the bitch bishop. Ah, maybe if we replace his balls with the pig balls, he'll come back to life. Yeah, we got his balls. We got his scepter. Banff Canadians are quite religious. Can't I? I'm trying to see if I could like open that door. I think yeah, this should. There you go. Yeah, I like how it had like kind of a little Zelda sound effect. It was like doo 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 doo. All right, the disc of bleeding. Awesome. Now we're gonna head back to the prince and show him uh, the bishop's balls. Uh, all right. I think I might just cure these dire aids. I see you have dire aids. I can heal it for five. You are now cured of dire aids. You still have aids, but it is no longer dire. It's like Magic Johnson aids. <laughs> Oh man, hey, can I, okay, there you go. I wasn't moving for a sec, really, like, I was in the same spot. It's really weird. Alright, Prince dude, got you some balls. I don't know what you're planning on doing with them, but whatever, you That's is you, I guess. That's, Yay, uh, the what the heck? Now religion won't enter I can the English government. perfectly, don't worry. You? you said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Yeah. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop what? and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. Oh, thanks, lady. And she only queefed like once. And right, we got a friend and we got a letter. All right, cool. Let's see if there's... Can I open these? No, I can't. I know there's like a really cool set of armor just in Canada and there are different pieces everywhere so I'm hoping to like find it because it is pretty sweet if I remember correctly. So I need to head over to Vancouver which is over here. And yeah. The yes, Duke of yes, Vancouver. Hello. What, Ottawa? A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. More magic for us to learn. Excellent. And break this and we can get some stuff. Ooh, a beard. And there's a piece of the armor. The barbarian helmet. 
There's two more, and there's a axe. I'll I'll look at all these weapons and stuff later once we're done this section, so that I'm not just wasting time just looking through my menu all day. I like this because this is like very reminiscent to what what happened in the very first Legend of Zelda game for NES. You just like zoom across in a boat, and hey, look! Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. It's Phil he and Terrence. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. Oh yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> what is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> what did you ask? He knows dragon shout. So easy. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he farted into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. Oh yeah, well I can do that too. Oops. That was stinky. Stinky no minky. My God, he can help us fall. If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fast? I know that too. Oh damn, I keep doing that. Sneaky Squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Oh, Matrix parody. Your magic is impressive, young American. Definitely is. Not since Eric Definitely a Matrix the parody. Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again. Now you try. Believe yeah, in so yourself. now we're getting a new spell, Nagasaki, which is basically a nuke. So yeah, just do that. Find the frequency. No, no, no. You call that no I freaking let go of the thing. Damn it. You must focus Messed up. And push harder too. Think of your anus muscles as a puckering kiss. Pucker, pucker. Here, hey, I know again. how to do it. Can I? Ah, I can't skip it. Whatever. Now you try. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. It's like proper. I got. You gotta believe. There we go. That's it. Now let us see how Nagasaki works in battle. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! There we go. <laughs> That's it. You have the power. You did it. Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind. And don't ever All right, ever fart learn a new fart, and we now we have to rescue the minister. Yeah, man. Now we have all the spells unlocked in this game. Thank you, monks. Oh man, Phil and Terrence, Philip and Terrence, they're they're always a blast. Literally. <laughs> and I'm trying to avoid battle. I'm like a pacifist. Please don't. Bear, don't. Oh. Oh, I think I got it. That was a close one. The bear almost got me. Yeah, because there's battles in here, so I like. Yeah, this is kind of reminiscent to, like, what a. It looks kind of like a cave you would see in Pokemon. It's pretty cool. And now, got a. Nagasaki. Like, I, like, it has the nuke. Like, seriously. Oh, damn it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. move Hello? I'm so cool. Oh, my God. While moving, I'll just have to read this while moving R up. Okay, all right. 
So basically, I think I just have to hold it. There we go. And... Uh, gotta fight these guys, so... Hopefully I got the first hit. We gotta fight dire snakes, dire wolves, and a dire bears. Uh, Alright. And since we all know how they work, I'm gonna use a summon. I think... Let's use the, uh, the rosary. It's been a while since we've used this one. Crossfire! Crossfire! Don't get caught in the crossfire! I don't know. Thank you! Alright. Yeah, because I did not want to deal with those assholes again, so... Yeah, and let's just take their stuff. Some cash. A bunch of loonies and stuff. And also some items. Got a gemstone. Pretty cool. Yeah, now it's just one more piece of armor I need to find. I think I know where it is, so, yeah. Thank you to you too. And the princess and yeah. And now our quest in Canada is complete, which is awesome. I'm just gonna, I'll probably cut it out, but I'm, I need to find that last piece of armor. I think I know where it is, so yeah. Bring the translated list to Annie, so. Yeah, that's left what we have to do, so. Oh. Alright. Took care of those guys. So now, I think. No. Oh wait, it's over there, I think. Never mind. Please don't hurt me. I think it's in this chest. Pretty sure. No, it's not. Strange. I think it might have something to do with that spider web then. But I'm not too sure. Well, I don't know where the gloves are, so it doesn't really matter too much. It's just gloves, right? Plus, I like these purple ones anyway, so it so it's, should be all good. Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly run this back to Anne now. I think I might switch. Actually, no, I'll just do that later, actually. But here's all our friends we made in Canada. All right. I think if we just go down, I'll sure Maybe we should just back. stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. Yeah, we did. Alright. You just head back to Ann. I'll probably cut to when we get there. Ready to go back? Alright, we made it to Annie, so now yeah, let's go see the girls right away. Got your letter translated, so now we finally join our faction. I think they will because, you know. Every girl Even lacks the silent type. That day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom. So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch. The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore. Two-faced butt rag. Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass. <laughs> but Heidi's really sorry. So we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! Yay! You served us well, new kid. So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! Sunshine. Alright. And we got a new friend, Wendy, Bebe, Red. And we got 47 friends. 
This is awesome, and now we can leave, and all along, we'll see where the where the fortress or their hideout was. Girls' restroom, of course. I heard some kids so anyway, that's them. pretty much it for uh, this episode. So next time we're gonna go talk to Kyle, and then we should be able to rage war on Clyde's forces. See you guys then.